Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel and again here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So it's a quick video for you today because I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking about VATSIM model matching and also models used for beyond air traffic control and basically troubleshooting because they're finding that even though they have moved their FS LTL folders and FS traffic folders from the 2020 community folder into the flight sim 24 community folder they're just not getting air traffic injected into their sim now i wanted to address this because i had the same issue quite recently and it seems that this has only become a problem following that big update we had for flight sim 24 last week so let's take a little look at my model matching rules let's have a look at vpilot and as you can see in the background there are aircraft british airways here at london heathrow go to my settings and model matching for flight simulator 24 i have two custom rules i have fs traffic and i have fs ltl now this i found was quite interesting fs traffic in the past has proved to be slightly better with its performance and fps so if i wanted to use fs traffic instead over uh, FSLTL as uh, priority. We'll just simply apply that. Suddenly, the moment I do that, all of these aircraft disappear. I can obviously bring those back and prove that there is definitely an issue with FS traffic by going back into the settings, go back to the custom rules and put FSLTL as the primary source for all of the models and just give that a second. There we go, they're all straight back. So essentially what I had to do as well was right at the very start when I found out that none of my aircraft were displaying properly was reinstall FSLTL traffic via the fly-by-wire installer. What I did try to do previously was go to my Flight Sim 2020 community folder, which was this one here, grab all the FSLTL models, their base pack, and also the FS traffic models, and just cut and paste those into my 2024 community folder, which they're obviously now showing in here. There, are, there is the base pack, and just traffic's uh, base pack is just there, the traffic fleet. However, that doesn't work you need to do a fresh installation so with the fs ltl packs you can install the base models no need to install the injector particularly at the moment as fs ltl's traffic injector doesn't actually work with flight sim 24 at the moment but the base models pack does need to be installed fresh from this installer. Now by default, your fly-by-wire install will be set to your 2020 community folder. In order to change this, just go to the settings page and then download and change your Microsoft Flight Simulator community directory. And here obviously, point it towards the Flight Sim 2024 community folder. Once that has all then had a fresh installation, well, as you can see, the models now all work. And these will work with both Beyond ATC, if you use that, and as we can see here, VPilot for flying on VATSIM. So what about just Flight's FS traffic models and getting those to work in Flight Simulator 2024? Well, as you saw a moment ago, when I told vPilot to use my FS traffic model rules, all of the aircraft disappeared. And yes, that is because this too needs a full reinstallation. Now, what is rather interesting is FS traffic will only install into the community folder for Flight Sim 2020. So then you do need to cut and paste those models across back into your 2024 community folder. I wasn't sure if this would work, but after downloading and installing with a fresh installation of FS traffic models, again, then moving them from the 2020 community folder over to the 2024 community folder, I loaded back into Heathrow and swapped the uh, VMR files around. So this time I'm telling vPilot to use my FS traffic models and all of the aircraft disappeared again, which worried me, but no, they're back. So now following that fresh installation, it seems that both FS traffic 
Traffic and FSL tail models are now back working with Flight Sim 24, with VPilot, and also beyond ATC with regards for using them as your models with their traffic injectors. Now, which one of the two I actually prefer? To be honest, I have both because it means it now covers pretty much every aircraft and airline you can think of. I have done videos in the past stating that the FS traffic models were less performance heavy than the FS LTL models and I've still found that to be true. As you can see on the screen here I was just double checking that all of the models shown or most of them were indeed FS traffic models and they were so it looks like the reinstallation is the key. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Let me know in the comments down below if you too have suffered with this problem and if a reinstallation of them has done that for you. One word of warning, however, though, if you are going to uninstall your FS traffic before you hit the reinstall, make sure you copy the VMR file from the FS traffic data folder. Otherwise, if you delete this, you won't be able to set up vpilot. Once again then, a reminder of our channel partnership with the Contrail store, giving you access to that 10% discount code, saving you some money on your purchases of scenery, add-ons, etc. So make sure you use that the next time you're shopping there. And of course, check out the link to Innerbuilds in our video description. Our other channel partner using that link, of course, also helps support the channel when purchasing awesome scenery and aircraft from Innerbuilds. As I said at the start, only a quick video today, but hopefully answering those questions about why none of your models are currently showing in the Flight Sim following the update to Flight Sim 24. Hopefully now your skies will be back populated. Remember, of course, that this doesn't work with regards to the live default traffic injector from Flight Sim 24. For some reason, it cannot read any models you add into the community folder at the moment. So this only works with traffic injectors from the likes of FS Hood, Beyond ATC, and of course, VPilot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has answered some of your questions regarding why your models had suddenly disappeared. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, then please don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and of course live stream flights. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.